Hi, my name is Barbara Williams from just outside the San Francisco Bay Area. She and I are in competition here. Her name is Promise, and I just love my little Promise. She was born January 1st, 2022, and so she's going to be four months old April 1st. And uh, we're working on some of her behavior. We're getting kind of a late start, although the breeder did do age-appropriate training in the first um, eight weeks of her life, okay? And I know that for a fact that she was getting daily age-appropriate training because I was the breeder. <laughs> so one of the things you're looking for when you look for a breeder is to have a breeder do age-appropriate training every day for the first eight weeks because it does make a big difference. And some of the things as a result of that training is, whoops, <laughs> the one knocked some water over, is that she's very calm. And she will pretty much stay in my arms for a long time. So basically what we're going to talk about tonight is being the alpha parent, the leader. Dogs are 35% nature, which is their heritage going all the way back to the gray wolf, and 65% nurture. Well, even though 65% nurture um, is a higher percentage than 35% than nature, you know, the inherent qualities of a dog, even a human, they're there. No matter how much nurture you do, they're still there. You can't get rid of them. So like Psych 1 says with humans, Psych 1 says you can modify, you can modify behavior, but you can't change personality. So it's the same thing with dogs. There's this innate thread that goes through them that's 35% of who they are. So what you have to do is start with who they are and mold the behavior in such a way where you could make a therapy dog or a very obedient dog so you can have a canine good citizen and things of that nature. Well, there's certain things that need to happen in um, the first eight weeks and then the next four weeks and, and uh, every day throughout the puppy's life. So if you want uh, an alpha dog, I mean not alpha, if you want to be an alpha parent, it's not as much what you do, it's who you become. And I will be starting a course in the very near future where we will talk about, um, amongst many other things, we'll talk about how to become this alpha parent, the leader of the wolf pack, so to speak, the leader of the pack. These are pack animals. And um, we have to show them <laughs> that we're their leader. Now, me... I don't mind being kissed on, but I also know that dogs should all have a negative marker. So, ah, ah, so soon as I make my negative marketer, she will stop, even though I didn't give her a command. So you, whether you want to use the kind of guttural noise that I use, it as a primordial noise or something else, um, you still should have a negative marker. And I believe uh, many dog trainers talk about that. And... And she had, ah, and so she hasn't really gone back to licking me since I did that either. So there's just a lot to learn about dogs before you bring one home. I suggest you know the breed you want to buy. Go to Wikipedia. They seem to be the most honest and impartial about describing all the breeds. I've become aware that there's seven categories of breeds of, under the AKC um, you know, control. They've broken down to seven categories. Know what they are, know what they stand for. Go to the AKC website. There's a lot of free training there. And just really know the ins and outs of your breed. Some, breed, some dogs like um, people more than others. And some dogs um, are more can be trained quicker and easier. For example, you've got your Border Collie, your German Shepherd, your Poodle, and some of these dogs that are very easy to train and um, and will learn in less than five repetitions. Now, the miniature schnauzer is number 12 in intelligence. Well, out of 199 AKC breeds a dog, good, look at that, she just had peace. <laughs> um, that's a good number. 
number 12. So just know your breed that you want. Um, and then also when you get a dog, be aware that you will, I just started that <laughs> Kedner. Be aware that you will um, be one, you want to, you need to, you're required to groom your dog every day. That does not mean bathe them, only bathe them once a week, but um, make sure that you comb them out every day so they stay used to what the comb feels like and they begin to actually like that spending time with you. So again, this is Barbara Williams from just outside the San Francisco Bay Area. I am a virtual dog coach. I am a dog trainer uh, online. <laughs> And um, I am, I think I've already said I'm a breeder. I'm a breeder of miniature schnauzers. And I've written a couple books about um, how to raise your dog and teach them a variety of different things. So anyway, Barbara Williams, bye for now. See you later. Mm -hmm.